jump right into it. And man, Gotham is so much better this season. Can I just say my favorite part of the episode was when Gordon and Bullock got those big old guns and they were like... <laughs> Before I discuss that scene, let's talk about Penguin. The episode starts with him trying to rescue his mom, and like I said last week, Butch found her way too quickly, and the only way this would make sense if it was a trap, and it was totally a trap. Galavan shows up, turns Butch against Penguin, kills his mom, and right before he's gonna kill Penguin, Penguin gets all gangster and he stabs him, and he's like, bitch, and then he gets away. This leads me to giving the award for worst shot in the world to assassin chick. How do you not shoot a man that can't even run? You're terrible. That leads to Butch being on his own and we find that out because of the whole gun battle I was talking about at the start of the video. I do like the idea of Butch starting his own mob because that was one of the coolest things about season one was the whole Maroni versus Falcone angle. Switch the roles and now we have Penguin versus Butch which is awesome because Butch has a whole lot of reasons to hate Penguin. Hopefully Gotham writers make that happen because Penguin needs an enemy. Now let's move on to the new member of Juicebox's kill list, Silver Scent Cloud. You a bitch. And I don't care if you a kid, you need to get got. Saying my boy Bruce is wrapped around your little pinky finger, mm-mm, bitch. But yo, Bruce, if Gotham has taught me anything, it's that blonde girls are crazy. Silver Sin Cloud, crazy. Barbara, crazy. But you know who's good? Brunettes. Selena Kyle, awesome. Dr. Tompkins, awesome. Now, we could mention that Firefly was also brunette and she was crazy, but I'm not gonna mention that because, well, that messes up my whole theory. And like I've said before, I love Selena Kyle. That snarky comment she made to Alfred, Perfect. Also calling out Silver Sin Cloud in front of Bruce. Man, you bad. Throughout the whole episode, Gordon is questioning everything about Galavan and finds out who he truly is when Penguin crashes the Galavan party to kill him. Side note, fucking genius by the writers of Gotham to have all of Penguin's henchmen dress like him and march down the street. Solid March of Penguins joke. At the end, we have a standoff between Gordon and Penguin where it's revealed that Galavan killed Penguin's mother. This is interrupted by another shitty shot from assassin chick. You're terrible! Penguin escapes and Gordon versus Galavan is born. Something worth noting is that another member of Strike Force died and it is as I predicted. These characters are just made to die. Now all of that happened but none of it was bigger than the birth of the Riddler. We all know last week Nigma killed his lady love but the first question was how is he gonna get rid of the body? Turns out his crazy side is really fucking crazy. Throughout the episode, Nigma is trying to solve riddles that his other half created and it's awesome. It does seem like Gotham's gonna make its version of the Riddler a serial killer. Reminds me a little bit of Dexter. And I'm totally cool with it. I just hope that he doesn't get rid of all his victims at the GCPD because Kinda seems like an easy way to get caught. I absolutely love the character, and can you imagine if we had a whole season of the Riddler as the main villain? It would be dope! Watching Gordon have to figure out a bunch of puzzles, maybe to save some people or whatever, would be totally awesome, but you need to figure out a way to get Bruce Wayne involved. I wanna see Bruce try to figure out some riddles, you know, something with Wayne Enterprises. I don't care. I need more Bruce doing shit. I know they're slowly trying to develop the character with a little bit of fighting and he was doing detective shit, but I need more badassery from Bruce Wayne. But what do you guys think? Do you like this version of the Riddler? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, do you like what's going on with Penguin and Butch? Should that be the new mob boss battle? Lastly, let me know what you think of that bitch Silver Sin Cloud in the comments as well. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with all your buddies. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. Channel. But as always, I am your host, Juicebox. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. Have I had my daily dose of juice? See you guys next time. Bye!